Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the broil element on your range. The broil element on modern ranges is used both for the broil function as well as for bake functions as well. In broil it is the only element that is turned on and in a bake function you have both the bake element and the broil element cycling between each other. So if it fails, you won't get good results. It's a really easy job to change. Let me show you how we do it. Now with the upper rack out of the way, we're next going to remove the two screws at the back that secure the tabs on the end of that element to the oven liner. And then we'll disconnect the two at the top. You just support that element when you remove the last screw, and then you can just let it hang there. Now our next step will be to remove the back panel so that we can disconnect the two wires that connect to that broil element. So now that we've got the range pulled forward, we've also disconnected the mounting screws for the broil element. We're next going to take off this upper back panel. In this particular model, there are five screws along either side. We'll need to flex that back panel to release the tabs at the top. And then we can simply lift it off. Now with it removed, our next step will be to take the two wire ends off of the element terminals. Simply just pull them straight off. And now we can go back to the inside of the oven and pull that element out. Now with the wire terminals removed, we can then just pull that element straight out through. Now the terminal ends on that broil element are at 90 degree angle, so they may try to catch on that opening. Then just pull it completely out and then discard the old element. Now before we install the new one, we want to make sure that we have terminals are not bent. And then we'll line up with the opening in the rear. And push them completely through. And if you meet with some resistance with the insulation, you may need to go to the back of the range to straighten that out. Now with it pushed firmly back into place, we'll just install one of the screws at the top front bracket. I want to tighten that just enough that it'll hold it up into place. And we'll do the opposite side. And then we can tighten both of those screws. And 
Then we'll go to the back wall and install those two. And with all four screws now firmly attached, we'll go to the back of the oven and we'll reconnect the wire terminals to the element. Now we have the broil element firmly mounted to the ceiling. Reconnect the wire terminals. We want to inspect those and make sure that there's no signs of any arcing or corrosion on those wire ends. And if so, we'll need to replace them with a high temp style of terminal and make sure that they fit on nice and snug. Next, we'll put that back panel back on. So we'll put this lip on that little opening down into there. Tilt it up into position, and then just tuck the little tabs in on both sides, and then we can put the screws back in. Recommended to put the two top screws in first. Just line up the openings. And then continue to put the rest of them in. And now we're ready to push the range back into position. We're now ready to reconnect the power, push the range back into position, and our repair is complete.